I am here at the De La Salle University College of St. Benil and uh, I'm with a, uh, with a faculty um, and they're going to tell us something about game development, a new course that they're going to introduce sometime soon. Uh, with me is uh, Mr. Gerard Torres, the Dean of the School of Design and Arts. Sir, can you tell us something about this course that you're offering? Uh, thank you, Alex. Uh, yes, we are planning to offer uh, very soon a bachelor's degree in game design and development mm -hmm. and uh, we're very excited with this uh, plan because it's going to be a cooperative venture between the uh, two schools in the uh, College of St. Benil, the School mm -hmm. of Design and Arts and the uh, School of uh, Management, Management and Information Technology. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a partnership and we are actually responding to this very exciting development in the industry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is Mr. Ben Her Ong, uh, the Dean of School of Management and Information Technology. He's one of the people who was who are helping to develop um, this new curriculum. Mm -hmm. Sir, how exactly do you call this new curriculum we're going to offer? Well, we plan to call it a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts in Dean Design and Development. Uh, we believe that DLSCSB is actually better positioned to offer this program mm -hmm. as soon as possible time because majority of what the competition is competencies required to offer this program, we already have it in mm -hmm. the School of Design and Arts. Um, for SMIT, we, we, also, we really also believe that we also have some of the competencies required. But again, it's a matter of tying all these things up and mm -hmm. to come up with a complete program for mm -hmm. software developers. So this is uh, three and a half years? Uh, yeah. um, it's actually three years and one term, which is mm -hmm. around, well, three years and three months. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, so Mr. Norman Lee, the coordinator of uh, Computer Applications Program. Uh, sir, what are the components of uh, this course? I mean, what are the competencies that you'll be putting in? So, actually, um, what we um, talked about with Envision for, for Benil is actually to merge um, the, um, the components of game development, a full game development course which covers not only programming, not mm. only arts, but also design and also some aspects of business itself. Mm. So of course, uh, we all know that um, all of these four are at uh, four things are needed to come up with one game. Mm. So we're trying to build, or we're building a curriculum or an entire course that has all those four components, and hopefully those four components will help future students or actually graduates mm -hmm. be able to one get into industry. Um, able to not only some of your program already or mm -hmm. design their own games, to not only being let's say outsourcing, but mm -hmm. also developing their own games, mm -hmm. um, not only for the Philippine market but also for you know, global market. global market. Global market. Yeah. 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 And uh, finally, this is Mr. Benjamin Marasigan Jr., the chairperson of the Animation School of Design and Arts. Uh, also from CSB. Sir, um, animation is a very important um, element in, in game development because well, basically it's, it's a visual uh, product. Uh, is there interest coming from students, I mean, in animation uh, to go into game, who want to go into game development? There are some students who, who are interested in, also in, in pursuing gaming, mm. but basically what we want to do with the gaming, with the game design and development is to to animation is to be as a part or only of mm -hmm. the of, of the gaming of, of the course. Mm -hmm. so basically, gaming is a, is a very broad topic. Mm -hmm. in itself, right? mm -hmm. so part of that's only animation. Mm -hmm. So we we if we plan to train the students also. Aside from the programming part, we plan to train them how to design the games, mm -hmm. the characters how to create storyboards, mm. how to, basically how to, at least give them basic principles of animation so they will know how to make the characters move in a realistic way. Mm -hmm. But that's just part of the, the curriculum itself. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm sure sir, diba sa, sa animation nga, um, they don't necessarily always directly uh, deal with programmers, which is another uh, aspect of uh, game development. Um, Will it will will there will there be a time when animators have to learn some level of programming so that they have to 
you know, if they, if they want to convert their animation into an actual video game, mm -hmm. um, they might have to learn something from on, on in terms of programming. In terms of the, if you, if you're going to pursue a game design and development, mm. they should really know how how to to do programming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for example, if 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 you're in the animation degree program, maybe if they're also interested in, in pursuing gaming, maybe they can have an elective in gaming in, in programming or in, mm. maybe a part of the maybe we can we can direct the animation program to help students to get electives in gaming, mm -hmm. so they'll know how to how basic programming and mm. training. I think, this, I think this program is really a, uh, a perfect combination of science and art, mm -hmm. and art and science. So I think this is all encapsulated under this one program. Yeah. We hope we will we'll capture the interest and the uh, uh, presentation mm. for potential students. And yeah. to answer your question earlier, yes, people, the students who enroll in this course would most likely know how to do animation and the most likely they will be required to do so. But the end of their courses, the envision is that they can actually choose what to specialize yeah. in. Mm -hmm. They can specialize in software development, game engine development, or they can actually specialize in um, in the arts. Uh, the design part, design design part, part, yeah. They can also specialize in the storytelling part because mm -hmm. there, there will be different tracks that will mm -hmm. be made available to them. Depending on their, of course, gaming and yeah. that, that's interesting. Yes, Depending yes. on their interest, we will not force anything on anybody. So you think uh, in the Philippines, we th there's a you know, demand, I mean, or rather interest, strong interest from Filipinos to get into gaming, well, from informal, game development rather. For, for, from informal question and answers from students, there has been some inquiries regarding this one. Mm. And I guess, yeah, as I, as I mentioned earlier with you, we plan to start small and we'll take it from there. Mm. So how soon will you be implementing this again? We hope to implement it by 2009 and 2010, hopefully. Okay, thank you so much, sir.